Hello and welcome back for another video. In this one, I'll be breaking down my top 10 rookies of the 2023 NBA season so far. I'll start at the bottom where there is more controversy and end at the top where most of us will be in agreement. Feel free to comment down below whether you agree or disagree and what topic you would like me to cover next. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off with number 10, and the number 10 rookie so far in the 2023 NBA season is AJ Griffin from the Atlanta Hawks. Griffin is currently coming off the bench for the Hawks and is averaging 10 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist in 21 minutes. It's common for rookies to not play starter minutes as they're still learning and trying to adapt to the grueling 82 game NBA season. But if you were to look at Griffin's per 36 minute stats, which portray starter minutes, then he would be averaging 17 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists. Griffin looks to have a bright future and should be starting in the NBA in the next year or two. Number 9 is Jalen Dern from the Detroit Pistons. Dern came into the league with a reputation as an athletic big that can move well and dunk with ease. Furthermore, Duran also got player comparisons to Seattle supersonic legend Sean Kemp. Duran is currently averaging 8 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist in 24 minutes, but his per 36 stats are 12 points, 13 rebounds, and 2 assists. Duran currently leads all rookies in double doubles with a total of 10. And if he were to have started all year, then that number would be much greater with even more ferocious dunks. Number 8 is Jeremy Sohan from the San Antonio Spurs. Sohan came into the league with a player comparison to Hall of Fame bad boy Dennis Rodman. Not just because he dyes his hair, but because of his strong defensive play and ability to fill up the box score across the board. Sohan is currently averaging 10 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists in 26 minutes. Now Sohan has started 38 of the 41 games he's played for the Spurs, but if there's one thing you should know about Hall of Fame coach Greg Popovich, it's that he'll pull anyone out of the game if they aren't playing correctly, which many rookies do. If Sohan were to play 36 minutes per game, he'd average 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. Let's see if Sohan can retain his reputation as the modern day Dennis Rodman moving forward. Number 7 is Jabari Smith Jr. from the Houston Rockets. Jabari has started all 44 games he's played in for the last place Rockets, so he's had plenty of opportunity to learn and grow. Jabari was drafted 3rd overall in the 2022 draft and has played decent averaging 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 assist in 30 minutes, and 15 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist per 36. The Houston Rockets management might be scratching their heads right now, wondering if they took the right pick, but have no choice but to ride it out at this point. Jabari Smith Jr. came into the league with a player comparison to Richard Lewis. Let's see if he can live up to it. Number 6 is Walker Kessler from the Utah Jazz. Walker got drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves, but got quickly traded for three-time Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert. So he had big shoes to fill in Utah right out of the jump. And if I'm being honest, Walker has filled them pretty well, averaging 8 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 blocks in only 20 minutes per game. Even without his per 36 stats, Walker is already averaging more blocks than Rudy Gobert on the season, and has more total blocks than him as well. If you were still wondering what Walker's per 36 stats are, then they're 14 points, 13 rebounds, and 3.5 and blocks, which would lead the NBA at the moment. It seems clear now that the Jazz won that trade, and the Wolves might have regret on their mind from here on. Number 5 is Keegan Murray from the Sacramento Kings. Murray is currently averaging 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist in 30 minutes, and 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist per 36. 
Murray has started in 43 of the 45 games he's played for the Kings, and he's had a winning impact as the Kings have been a top 6 seed in the Western Conference for a good portion of the season. The Kings will need Murray to continue the strong play as they look to break their 17-year playoff drought and go deep into the playoffs. Number 4 is Jalen Williams from the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jalen is averaging 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists in 28 minutes, and 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists per 36. Jalen started the year coming off the bench, but once he got to show his worth in the starting lineup, he never looked back as he started in 31 of the 44 games he's played this season. It seems J-Dub gets better by the week as he just dropped his highest scoring total of the new year last night with 24 points against the Atlanta Hawks. His versatility has only grown over the course of his rookie year as he's shown he's a reliable shooter, secondary facilitator, and a high IQ player that always seems to be in the right place. J-Dub looks to have star potential, let's see if he can grow into it. Number 3 is Jaden Ivey from the Detroit Pistons. Ivy is currently averaging 15 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists in 30 minutes, and 18 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists per 36. Ivy has started in all but one game of his 45 games played so far this season, and most of them have been without star guard Cade Cunningham as he got hit with a season-ending injury early in the season. Ivy was given the keys to the offense pretty early on with Cade going down so he's been able to learn and grow as much as possible. The Pistons are a measly 12 and 37 so they have no problem letting Ivy run loose as they hope to draft Victor Wembanyama this summer to pair him with the two up and coming guards. Number 2 is Benedict Mathern from the Indiana Pacers. Matherin is averaging 17 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist in 28 minutes, and an impressive 22 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists per 36. Matherin has only started in 6 of the 50 games he's played this season and has found himself in the 6th man of the year conversation. If Matherin were to win the award, he would join Ben Gordon as the only rookie to accomplish this feat. Matherin looks to be a star in the making and the correct pick at 6 in the 2022 draft. I'm sure you can guess who number 1 is. Yup, it's Paulo Benchero from the Orlando Magic. Paulo hit the ground running in his rookie year as he started with 6 20 plus point games in a row. Paulo is currently averaging 21 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists in 34 minutes and 22 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists per 36. Paulo has started in all 41 games he's played this season, as he looked like a man amongst boys from day one in the league at the mere age of 20. Paulo looks to have a bright future with many all-star selections ahead, and maybe a championship or two as well. Well, those are my top 10 rookies so far for the 2023 NBA season. Feel free to comment down below whether you agree or disagree and who you would add instead. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. I'm going to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket.